Ahmed Aliyev and Daryl Horcher in the lightweight division. 32 years old and then 34 years old. Again, Daryl Horcher, you guys already know exactly who Daryl Horcher is as he stepped in on super short notice against Habib Nurmagomedov. Of course, you know, he got TKO'd in the second round, obviously, but he survived and he looked really good in that first round as well. He's a solid guy, um, being some really solid guys in his career as well. Only lost um, to UFC level opponents. Oliver Auburn Merceri, who was in the UFC, Roosevelt Roberts, who was in the UFC, Scott Holtzman, uh, a very solid guy. Habib Nurmagomedov, another solid guy. Felipe Nover, uh, who I also believe fought inside the UFC. I, I think so, yeah, against Zubair Tukugov, Hennem Barrow, and then Ricky Glenn. So he's only losing to solid, solid guys in his career. Now he's fighting yet another solid, solid guy in Ahmed Aliyev. Ahmed, very good wrestling, very, very good grappling. The kickboxing is also very solid. Uh, as we as you saw in the, in the Magomed Saeed Ali Bekov fight, getting a third round spinning back kick knockout win. Absolutely insane. A head kick knockout win, liver kick knockout win, uh, the punch in the body knockout win. I mean, he is such a well-rounded guy, even beating Zubair Tsukugov, who's in the UFC right now. He's definitely UFC caliber, in my opinion. He's only lost to other UFC caliber guys, Chris Wade, Natan Schultz, and then Loic Radzabov in his career. I believe it's going to be pretty much a domination. I'd like to see Daryl Horcher win at this stage in his career, but Ahmed is the better wrestler, is the better striker, is the better kicker. Should be a domination. I'm going to go Ahmed Aliyah by decision. I, I, there's a chance he could get a knockout. I, I definitely think there's a chance. Uh, but he's a very tough guy. I mean, he didn't get finished against Oliver Abin Mercieri uh, at, about six months ago. So I think the fight goes all the way. Ahmed Aliyah by a unanimous decision.